they're usually moving. the telltale sign. They're you know, moving. we've got a little delta breeze. The flags yeah. over by Sutter Health Park are yeah, blowing. It, it is a lot more comfortable outside for this morning. And just for some perspective, I want to get a look back on the last week. We've had five days in a row with triple digit temperatures in Sacramento. Yesterday's high of 106 downtown. Well, that was good enough to tie a record. And numbers came crashing down quickly yesterday evening. Maybe you heard the breeze where you are. Well, this morning we're at 64 degrees at Executive Airport, 63 in Fairfield, 64 degrees in San Francisco. So that cool air by the bay, yeah, I got funneled all the way inland. Notice though, you go north, you go south, it's just slightly milder. 70 degrees in Yuba City, that number is still down a good 6 to 8 degrees compared to 24 hours ago. Even the foothills at least a little bit more comfortable this morning with temperatures starting off in the low 70s as opposed to the upper 70s. As so we go through the day today, really nice. You're going to notice that change in the afternoon too. We'll still be in the low 80s at noon. We'll likely stay in the low 90s all the way through midday. So this afternoon much more comfortable than yesterday. And just like yesterday evening between about 6 and 7 o'clock, we'll feel that delta breeze kick back in. If you're joining us from Stockton this morning, it's going to be really nice for you too. Temperatures in the mid 60s through the next couple of hours. 70s between 8 and 11. We're into the 80s by noon and low 90s should be our final point by the time we get to this afternoon. Up in the high country, we will be watching for an afternoon shower or stray thunderstorm. They're going to stay confined to the high Sierra. If you're in Tahoe or areas to the north, up into Truckee, up towards Lassen, perhaps even into Plumas County, we'll be watching for an isolated afternoon thunderstorm. Always worth watching that potential for some lightning. We'll keep tabs on radar for you here through the morning and into the afternoon. Let's talk about the extended forecast here for a moment. Hurricane Hillary, of course, grabbing some attention. That storm is tracking northward. It will send some moisture into Northern California by Sunday evening into the day on Monday. The lion's share of the rain and the wind, that's going to stay in Southern California. Here locally, yeah, we're talking about the potential for some beneficial rainfall in the high Sierra, perhaps a bit of light rain into the foothills. There are still some questions about exactly how much rain we see into the valley and where the edge of that rain is going to end up. It looks like it's going to be pretty close to Sacramento but we do have a chance for some wet weather in our seven day forecast for Monday. First, though, let's look at the Sierra Sunday evening into Monday. That's your time frame for the highest rainfall potential. Saturday, it's more of that isolated thunderstorm activity in the afternoon. But again, Monday looks like the wet day for the high country. Down in the valley, yeah, the chance for showers is there on Monday, and there may be some accumulation with that rainfall as well. That should keep temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s, but those that stay dry, we're talking 90s. Melanie? Thanks so much, Heather. We'll check back with you in a bit. Get ready.